Here's the old girl being uh, neglected on someone's driveway. I've got it mechanically sound now. Um, so what I wanted to do was a video on the body now. So what I'll do is sand back all the rust, treat, fill and uh, E-Tech primer wherever needed. Especially if you get down to bare metal, you've got to use E-Tech. Use my Dremel kit to sand all that back and then I got onto the bodywork. Um, so we had to prep it first. Here's my lovely assistant. Um, and what we did was clean it all with sugar soap, use white spirit when needed just to get it nice and clean. Then the sanding process, I use these 400 grit sanding wheels, um, pads, you just stick them on there, sand it all back. Uh, don't go back to bare metal, just take off the top coat. And then for painting, I use these two fussy blokes, which are highly recommended on YouTube. A bit rubbish, to be honest. You'll know better off with a um, sponge roller. So yeah, I probably wouldn't buy them again. They kept leaving little bits. And then for the paint, I use the Marcus Glenn NATO Green, which is highly recommended for anyone that's doing a roller paint on their vehicle. It has a resin base, so it's, um, it goes rock solid. It's really good paint. Just don't get it on your skin. Nightmare to get off. Uh, so what we did, we used the sander wheels first, just sanded everything back. Um, just wanted to take off that top coat of uh, lacquer just to make sure that the paint could actually stick to something. Um, obviously it's important to go everywhere over the van, make sure you're getting all the door frames, the seals, make sure that you obviously open every single door, getting all those little nooks and crannies underneath the seals as well. You might find the stove chip um, on the seals, so just make sure you clean all that back as well. Uh, this is the hardest part of it, is the prep work, making sure that everything is flat and you've obviously got that lacquer top coat off as well, just so the paint can really stick, stick to the body. Um, after we did that as well, we gave it a quick wash with sugar soap um, and then worked our way around the whole body. I'm going to leave the roof to the end just because um, that's just another big job in itself. So I've not done anything on the roof yet. I don't know whether I'm going to go black or native green as well. But what we did is just make sure we got everything sanded properly first. So we're going to have to give it another wipe down sugar soap just to make sure we've got everything. A little bit of diesel drippage on the side there so i have to clean that with some white spirit make sure you take all the lights out as well plastic prime the bumpers otherwise the paint it will stick but you're better off um plastic prime in the bumpers just to make sure the paint's got something to really grab to i also sanded the bumpers as well give it another clean again that is the hardest part but just make sure you get it all off this is the nato green slightly thinned four to one ratio with thinner um, and what you want to do is, you, as you go over it, you're going to have to roll the same part four or five times just to get all the bubbles gone. I did um, sand it again, just slightly to take off the little bits from the rollers, because um, those rollers do leave little bits behind, and gave it a second coat. So this is the first coat, and then after I've done the second coat and it's all dry, um, the Weber has put a hold to it at the moment. But this is the second coat on, all the bits gone. So as you can see, it's starting to really come together now. So uh, it looks really, really nice with that final coat on there. Great coverage from that paint as well. So what I do is, um, yeah, like the video, watch my second part to see the final version of the van. So she'll have the final coat, all the graphics and the new wheels. Stay tuned.